<clears throat> shalom, shalom. Hey, this is a part two of my first video that I just made, but I got cut off. You know, I had a, I had an in call. I'm at, I'm at plantation, so you know how that goes, man. So I'm not gonna be too long. I just want to get to the point where you know they start speaking about this Alaskan, um, Alaska pox. There's an Alaska Alaska pox virus as well. All right, and that's spreading as well. But the bubonic plague, the bubonic plague is is a comeback. It's coming back in dingy fever. So this is why we have to pray for the heavenly Father to protect us from these plagues that He's visiting this place. Now remember, let's go to Psalm 17, and this is a part two. Those brothers that have seen part one, this is going to be a quick finish. Arise, Psalm 17 and 13. Arise, O Lord, Yahweh. Disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. All right? And eventually, the Heavenly Father is going to bring down Esau. He's just going to allow him to do his mischief, spread the wickedness, and do this, his wicked deeds by spreading these pestilence, these diseases. From men which are they which are thy hand, see? Because the scripture speaks about man's going is of the Lord. Alright, and that means Esau as well. Alright, let's go there real quick. For there shall no so like um, Proverbs twenty and twenty four, as you can see, man's going are of the Lord Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way? And that would be Esau as well. He's included. The Heavenly Father is in control of all of this. All right. From men which are thy hand, O Lord Yahweh, from men of the world which have their portion in this life. All right. Because this life is meant for Esau. As the scripture said in Job 9.24, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. All right. When you go to Psalm 73, it speaks about them. Uh, uh, in fatness their eyes cannot have enough all right they're not troubled like other men these are the elites that control the planet so this time around this kingdom right as the scripture said which have their portion in this life let's go into this portion this word portion you know through the spirit let's see what that says i'm, I'm interested in strong's age 2506 halak Halek. All right, portion, share, part, territory, you know, land. All right, he was given, he was given the planet itself. That's just why he goes around uh, 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 spreading his democracy everywhere. As scripture said, a whore, the, 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 the whore that sits upon many waters. All right, a portion, an award from the Most High. That was the blessing. All right. That this was the blessing. All right. That the that Isaac, our forefather, which was Yahweh Shai, blessed this man. That was his blessing. All right. The portion, the fatness of the earth, the dew of the heaven, when you read in Genesis 27. All right. But what does he do as well? Look at this. That portion. Uh, uh, what comes with that portion? What comes with that blessing? Well, what comes with the uh, the uh, the wickedness of speaking, being deceitful, deception, smoothness, seductiveness, flattery, smoothness, seductive, flattery. What does that think? What, what scripture comes to mind? Well, let's go there to the spirit. Psalms fifty-five. All right. 19. No, we're going to start at 20. He had put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. Right? And who, who are those that are at peace? The Israelites. Now, when you go into Columbus journals, when he came here, one of the quotes that he wrote down in his journal to Queen Elizabeth, Isabella, he said, he said, these people are peaceful people. They are, they are, um, he said we could control them, in other words, we could subjugate them. 
And there's another quote that he wrote in his journal. He said he couldn't put a sword down. You know, they were easy. This, this people is easy to enslave, in other words. Uh, I think he said he couldn't put a sword down for a whole hour. In other words, he was murdering and killing, um, you know, Jake. Because this is the devil, man. And, that, and then when you read the book, uh, what's that book? The basic, the Indies. It tells you that. It tells you that. Uh, that some, I forgot how the book goes. Um, the Destruction of the Indies or something like that. But this is the point. He had put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He had broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. See? Part of that portion is coming with the deceitful speaking. Him being deceptive. Smoothness, seductiveness, flattery. All right? The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. See? You see that? This why this is why uh eventually what is he tr he's coming for? All right? Well, Revelation 12, as you can see, the woman and the dragon Let's jump down to the last verse. And the dragon, which is Esau, was wroth with the woman, being Israel, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which would be the elect, which keep the commandments of the Most High Yahweh and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. And every brother that is sincere out there, we profess the testimony. You know, we, 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 uh, we're, we're, we're pointing the finger at this devil. We're, we're showing him his charges, his crimes, you know, in front of the eyes of Yahab Bashem Yahab Shai. All right? He's being cross-examined in, that, in, the spiritual, in the spiritual room, you know? The judge is sitting on the throne. So what, is, what happened? He's making war. War. Because his mouth is deceitful, flattery. All right, let's go to, what's that, Isaiah? Uh, so like Isaiah 58. All right. Mm. I always get those mistaken. Psalms 58, Salaki so brothers. Psalms 58. All right. Verse 1, do you, do ye indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Yeah, in heart ye work wickedness, all right? And the top heathen is uh, Esau. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth, all right? Remember, the hand of the Lord is the wicked, all right? We just read it in Psalm 17. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The earth was given to the hands of the wicked, Esau. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder, the stop of an ear. All right? There's no way... Of, of understanding and reasoning when it comes to righteousness with this devil. All right? His, his ways are not, his thoughts are not with the Lord. The scripture speaks about that in Psalm 50. Because he is the wicked. All right? So it goes back to what part of his portion, smoothness, seductiveness, flattery. All right? Let's go to 2 Ezra 15, verse 5. Behold, said the Lord Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world. How, how is the Lord going to do that? Through this devil, man. The sword, remember? The sword, famine, death, and destruction, man. All right? Why is the Lord doing this? For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their fruit works are fulfilled. So that famine that's coming, those pestilence, those diseases, hey, they're coming, man. They're coming. 
All right? Death is coming. That's why we're praying to Yahweh Hashem outside when he unleashed the death angels to have mercy on us. All right? I want to see something real quick. Bear with me, brothers. <coughs> Let me go to the Good News translation real quick. I want to see something real quick. All right. Let's go, let's go and get that on. Let's go and get that. And then the Good News translation, right? Let's go in there. Let's go there. Let's go to second edges. Well, we just read. We're going to get in the, the good news translation. All right. 15. Where was that? Five? Right here. The Lord Yahweh says, I am going to bring terrible disasters on the whole world. War. And we're, we're in the brink of World War Three. All right. And famine, that's coming. Death and destruction. Death is coming, right? Through these pestilence, bubonic, uh, dingy fever, alas, it's the Lord visiting this place, all right? Why? Because wickedness has spread everywhere and evil has reached its limit. And we're in that time. We're in the latter times, all right? This place is through and gone, all right? The people are full of darkness, no love. Scriptures say the love shall wax, the, the love of many shall wax cold, all right? People are gone. The abominable, the abominable works, there are, there are therein. The abominations that are being carried on by Esau and, and you two thirds. All right. This is where this is where we're at, man. This is where we're at. Evil has reached its limit. All right, and that goes along with this man's season. All right, his time. He was given a season. He was loose. All right, that, that dragon was loose, man. That devil, that serpent was loose. And his season comes with a time limit. So as you can see, as evil is spreading, matter of fact, I just got one more script. So let's get the book of Maccabees. Because what the book of Maccabees said, as you can see, Alexander the creep and his successors, right? Right? Goes into Alexander. All right. Let's go to verse 7. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then died. And his servants bear rule every one in his place. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. These were Edomites. And what happened after that? Once they were put crowns upon them, so did their sons after them many years. And evils were multiplied in the earth. You see? Evils. So as you can see, this man's time limit, his season, is synonymous with evil. As long as this man is doing evil, as long as this man is in rulership, evil will continue to reign on the earth. This is why the earth is exceeding polluted with wickedness because this devil's in rulership. But his season is about to be over. It's over. Spreading diseases, killing people. Uh, uh, his, his, his programs he got out there with harp and, you know, uh, CERN. Tampering with the spirit world, tampering with the weather. You know, goddamn uh, 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 January, the whole month of January was cloudy as hell over here in Jersey. We barely saw the sun. And we know how this devil works, man. That's why you're going to have to be put down. He's going to be put down, man. So something's going on. This is... Yeah, something is going on. All right? And you're supposed to be a Christian. That's why these Christians don't have the understanding. These, these, but we do. 
And that's the beauty about this truth, brothers. The Lord has revealed his secrets to his servants, the prophets. All right? And, and only an Israelite can be a prophet, and only those that are part of the elect, Yahweh Tazah, Yahweh Tazah, Baba Kusha, man. All right? We know what's going on. We know what's going on. We know this devil's in rulership. You Christians don't know nothing. You just got information, all right, that the Heavenly Father has placed upon you so we can go and we can extrapolate, all right? We can extract this information and feed the flock, all right, as overseers of the flock, man, to feed the flock. Thank you, the water. You can't make this up. This I was like, it's in the shoots. This is a r southern rural county in Oregon. So this is strange that this county is popping up again. And this is from the World Health Organization for the bubonic plague. It says the plague can be a very severe disease in people with a case fatality ratio of 30 to 60 percent for the bubonic type. All right. And that's what this is and is always fatal for the pneumonic kind when left untreated. Antibiotic treatment is effective against plague bacteria. So early diagnosis and early treatment can save lives. All right. That's a statement from the World Health Organization. Canada is open. Everyone is wide open right now. This is not help and this is not secure us to even track to find out where these things are coming from. All right, but you can see here it says in September the man noticed a tender red bump on his right armpit and was prescribed antibiotics. Yeah, and he's going into the Alaskan virus. Now there's an Alaskan pots virus, man. All right, so I'm gonna stop there through the spirit. You know, the point was made through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. What is the Lord doing? All right, behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right, GNT, the Lord says, I am going to bring terrible disasters on the whole world, war and famine, death and destruction, because wickedness has spread everywhere and evil has reached its limit. Matter of fact, I got I to get one more. Let's get this one, Green Bay Tree, all right. be psalms 37 i know it's in psalms 37 all right okay let me see something <clears throat> i'm gonna finish up brothers but you got the point man this devil gotta be put down but this is the lord lord is doing this all right all right let me see where it is here <clears throat> 